a BaseNet Intermedia Group production. It's about Boston, with stories that will inform, motivate, and inspire you. Now, here's Jill Hindley about Boston. This is Jill Hindley about Boston, reporting from Quincy, Massachusetts, which is the new headquarters for BaseNet. And today is a very special day. It is the championship parade for the World Series champion, Boston Red Sox. And it's also known as the Rolling Rally. That might have been coined by our outgoing, future outgoing mayor, Thomas Menino. <laughs> so here we are in Quincy, Massachusetts. It's about 10 miles south of Boston. And we're going to actually head across the street in about five minutes, get on the red line, which is the T, the subway, and ride that right into downtown Boston to see the rolling rally, which is our ticker tape parade. We're very excited to get a good spot, maybe right on the Boston Common, and see all the players go by, all the coaching staff, the owners. We're going to see, hopefully see everyone. And today is so a special day because the Boston Red Sox won the World Series this year, 2013, in very exciting fashion. And they're having a ceremony as we speak, actually, the first part of the the rolling rally is a special ceremony at Fenway Park that involves season ticket holders and more importantly Boston Marathon bombing victims so it seems that throughout this 2013 season the Boston Red Sox have been inexplicably linked to the Boston Marathon tragedy. They were playing at Fenway the day that it happened, only about a mile away, you know, the finish line from Fenway Park. And they were on the field and finishing, finished, just finished up their game that day when the Boston Marathon bombings happened. And right from that very day, it seems that the Red Sox were playing for something bigger than themselves. And it was actually Johnny Gomes, outfielder, a huge contributor in the World Series, who came up with the 617 logo and kind of helped to use that as part of the Boston Red Sox honoring the Boston Marathon victims. So we are Boston strong today. We're very proud. And I know they're having the special ceremony at Fenway now. We're going to go jump on the red line and go in on the tee. And after the, after the ceremony finishes up at Fenway, they're going to jump on the duck boats. All the players, I'm sure many family members, the, the whole Red Sox coaching staff and organization are going to get on the duck boats. They're going to roll right off the warning track out in the outfield and out of Fenway Park, down to Boylston Street, all the way to the Public Gardens and the Boston Common, and then right around to the Charles River. So it's going to be exciting. We're going to head in. And and it's really nice that the Red Sox have been able to honor the Boston Marathon bombing victims for throughout the season. And it's been a very nice kind of relationship and link that they've been able to have and feel like that it's been a part of the being Boston strong. So about Boston, I'm Jill Hindley, and we're heading in, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. <laughs>
Massachusetts, where we started the day, and boy, did we have a great time at the Rolling Rally. It was so much fun. It was more fun than I ever expected. We got in there right across the street from the, the Common, right on Tremont Street in, in Boylston, right at the air, that area, and we got a great view of the parade. I got to take lots of pictures of the Red Sox players and the coaches, and they had duck boat after duck boat of family play, of the players, the, the coaching staff, the front office, and they really did a nice job with signs on each duck boat of which Red Sox players or which Red Sox coaches were on that particular boat. So it was a really well done. Probably two or three million people came out to see this parade today. The rolling rally was a great success, and we had a really fun time. They kind of threw us for a loop there because they had a lot of the players with the names on there. They had everyone, Johnny Gomes and Jacoby Ellsbury. They had... Um, the pitchers, Lackey and Lester, they had all the big names, uh, Mike Napoli, um, Jared Saltalamacchia, David Ross, you know, everyone that contributed. It, it, Dustin Pedroia was one of the, the biggest hits during the parade. But what they did was they, we didn't see David Ortiz, known as Big Poppy. So they had his name on a duck boat. And they had almost like a decoy guy holding up a trophy, the World Series trophy, but it wasn't Big Poppy. So it kind of caught us off guard. You know, where is he? Or is that him? And it doesn't look right him exactly. And then they saved the best for last because the MVP of the World Series, David Ortiz, had his own float. He wasn't even on one of the duck boats. He had his own parade float. He had his own music on. And he was like dancing and waving and just and being Big Poppy <laughs> with his own crew there. So it was kind of neat because they saved him for the end. Uh, the Dropkick Murphys had their own parade float and they were playing their famous song that you know it, that goes right with the Boston Red Sox. So it was really great. Oh, and John Farrell, the um, the manager of the team, he got a big a big ovation when he went by. The owners, the ownership was up front. On the duck boats every single player and every single family member and front office employee uh grounds crew the grounds crew for fenway park were rocking in the parade as well so i saw wally the green monster too you can't forget him he was dancing to the dropkick murphys today on their float so it was really exhilarating very fun time being in there for this World Series Championship Parade for those beloved Boston Red Sox 2013. And my last note about the rolling rally today was there was a very special moment at the finish line for the Boston Marathon. When they reached the finish line on Boylston Street, they stopped the duck boats, and Johnny Gomes and several other Red Sox players got off the duck boats, and they placed the World Series championship trophy right in the middle of that Boston Marathon finish line, and then they draped a 617 Red Sox jersey over the trophy, and then they were able to kind of have a moment where they honored those Boston Marathon victims from the bombing tragedy in April. So it was a very special touch and again it showed the how the Boston Red Sox were intertwined with that sort of Mo that, that day in Boston, which we will always remember and will go down in history as one of the worst terrorist acts that we've experienced in this city. So it was just such a nice touch and and it really made the parade have that, it kind of that greater significance. And leave it to those Red Sox. Those 2000, 2013 Red Sox really show their class. And that not only are they good human beings, but great baseball players, too. So we had a great time. We jumped back off the tee. And here we are wrapping up our day from the Rolling Rally World Series Championship Boston Red Sox. We're so proud of them. And this is Jill Hindley about Boston.